Hi, my name is Izzy, and today I'm going to show you how to roll your own cigarettes for five cents a piece. Instead of paying 38 cents for a premium cigarette that I have been smoking, but I'm going to finish them up and continue smoking only the nickel cigarettes. So today I'm going to demonstrate how to make a cigarette the fast and easy way. And uh, I hope you enjoy this video. Now these are the things that you're going to need. You will need, obviously, tobacco. This costs $9.99 at any vape store. Okay. You will also need Topps King Size Filters. Okay. And of course you will need rolling paper. I bought this rolling paper by the case and I'm um, sorry I did because it's not really good paper. I am next time I'm, when I run out, I'm gonna get the uh, white unbleached paper. Okay, this is how many cigarettes I've made so far. And at first I was using just uh, cardboard uh, tips instead of the cotton filters. And I find that the cigarettes are way too strong without the cotton filter. You will also need a nice looking tray. This cost me $1.48 at Walmart. This metal tray for, I guess, baking cookies or whatever. You will need it to be a flat surface with a little border around it so that the tobacco doesn't uh, fall off and such. I've already made five cigarettes uh, just sitting here watching a show on Netflix. And now I'm going to put this away and I'm going to put this down here on the floor and I'm going to just make some room. These are the cigarettes that I uh, was smoking and these cigarettes cost 38 cents a piece. Okay, when you break it down, $75 I'm paying with tax and everything uh, for 200 cigarettes, a carton, it comes out to 38 cents a piece. Now I'm going to show you after buying the tobacco, uh, the roller doesn't count because that's just going to be in constant use. That's an investment. Uh, the tips are $2 for 200 tips. The rolling paper, if you buy it by the case, it comes out to about $1.50 per uh, pack. And there's 32 uh, papers in a pack. And okay, so let's begin. Let me adjust the camera just a little bit here so that I, you get a really good view of my handwork. Okay, let's get that out of the way. Okay, so uh, let's see if I'm getting this all the way. Yes, okay. So the first thing you do is uh, you have your roller, and this one is a 100 millimeter. It is also referred to as king size, which I don't understand because king size usually meant small cigarettes. But this is the like if you bought uh, 100s uh, cigarettes. Now, by the way, I bought the tobacco uh, the first time. I bought the red, which is supposedly equivalent to a Marlboro red. Way too strong. So then I bought the blue, which is a lighter version. Uh, still too strong. Then I finally came down to the silver, which is just right, like uh, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Okay, moving on. Let's make a cigarette. You pop a filter in there, you shove it to the end, and you hold it down, you make a little well here, and you hold it down during the process. And you take a pinch of tobacco, as you can see, and you start just shoving it in there. Okay, if you find uh, wooden stems within the tobacco, just throw them out because they get in the way. Uh, so we're going to fill up the well and try not to put too much, but just enough. And if you, as you're shoving it, if you feel an uh, empty space like I'm feeling towards the end here, you just take a little bit and here's another stem, get rid of that. And you just pack it in. Now you take your finger off the filter and with two, uh, two hands, right? You just work the tobacco in 
and now carefully you roll up the device. Now I've used uh, what do you call the kind that you crank to put the tobacco into a ready-made cone. Horrible, horrible. Even the best one is a horrible uh, device. I've also uh, used other methods where it injects the tobacco similar to the crank, also horrible. So this is the easiest way I've found to make this uh, cigarettes. And as you can see, when I pinched it uh, closed, there's some tobacco up there. If there's too much, just take your nail and kind of push it out of the way. And now, even though there's still some there, it you start rolling. So you roll forward. I, let me show it this way so you can see it a little better. You roll forward. And as you can see, while I'm rolling, that excess tobacco went inside, okay? You tap it just to get the tobacco out of the way. I like the clean surface, so I push that out of the way. And here's the very last part, very simple. You take out one leaf, make sure that the gummy side is up and towards you, okay? And you can see because it's shiny. And I just uh, kind of stretch it out a little so it it fits better. Now you put this paper all the way to the edge like that and I'll show you why in a second and you just kind of hold it there in place and start working it and keep the roller tight while you're doing it so you get a nicely packed uh, cigarette. Now you're not going to see this part but here's the, the end, here's the gummy part so now I put it and I lick it. Okay, Lick it, now you can see it's wet and roll. Now I put markings on this blue marking so I know where it should always be so the pocket is ready for the next uh, cigarette. Okay, so you roll it and if you can see here, now the two black, uh, blue dots are far away from each other so that's not good. You're gonna roll it a little more again until they come back and now they're together. That means the pocket is ready for the next cigarette. And okay, you undo it, you kind of pull the, the rubber, and you pull out your cigarette. And I take a little pinch out of the end, out of the tip, just, oh, this one's a little, okay. And I have my little pen here, and I work the tobacco a little bit, shove it in there, roll it around a little, twist it. And then I close the end so that tobacco doesn't fall out uh, of the cigarette. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I uh, would like to see more people doing this. And hopefully the tobacco people will wise up and lower their prices because I can make cigarettes for a nickel apiece. And as you can see, I've already made six just sitting here for about 15 minutes. And if I could make that, uh, you can make 20 cigarettes in probably 40 minutes tops once you get the hang of it. Thank you very much and have a great day.